we are now all set with our storage application. HDFS is working and we set up Yarn as our resource manager. However, as of now, we are not able to process the data in our HDFS. For this, we will use Apache Spark. As always, I won't explain what Apache Spark is, but show you how you could add Apache Spark to your Hadoop cluster. First, we need to download a recent copy of Spark onto our machine. Um, for this, open Firefox and navigate to Apache Spark's website. So just open the browser and then just go to spark.apache.org. And here we can click the download button. So you can either say download Spark or click on download. Um, next, we need to choose what version of Spark we want. Uh, we do want a recent version, hence we choose uh, 3.01 and we want it pre-built for Apache Spark 3.2 or later since we are running on Apache Spark 3.3. Right, click that and um, click on it. So click on this little um, link down there, just click on it. And again, I won't download Spark by clicking on this link over there. Uh, rather, I want to copy the download link um, and paste this later into the terminal. So just left click on it and just say copy link location. All right, so let's close down Firefox. Fire up your terminal and log in as the Hadoop user again. So just as always. I'm gonna say su, oh, sorry, su Hadoop, type in the password. And we are downloading Spark using the wget command. So we say wget and just paste in the link over there. Now, when the download is done, we can unpack it using the tar command. So. As you can see right there, Spark is downloaded as a TGZ file and we can unpack it using the tar command. And you should be familiar with it because we already used it for Hadoop. So tar hyphen, remember, extract Z file and then just say Spark 301 for Hadoop 3.2. All right, go ahead. Now uh, Spark is unpacked and we, um, not only have a Hadoop folder, but also a Spark folder. So as you can see over there, we now have a Hadoop folder and a Spark folder. All right, let's get rid of the packed or downloaded file. All right. Now, um, in contrast to Hadoop, Spark would actually run out of the, um, work out of the box, but it wouldn't connect to our Hadoop cluster. Hence, before we can start using Spark, we want to configure it. Um, however, I think configuring Spark is a bit easier than setting up Hadoop. Basically, we have to tell Spark where to find uh, the Hadoop config files and the Yarn config files um, on our machine. Um, also, we must give it a list of all computers to t start the slaves on. Now, enter the Spark folder. So say cd spark. Now list all the files and folders inside that directory. Right, there you can see them. Here you can see that there is a conf folder containing all the configurations. Now go into that folder, so cd conf. Um, list all the available files again, so ls. Here you can see that all files end in dot template. Um, those are not real configuration files, but templates we can use to create real configurations files from. Um, notice that Spark would work out of the box since it has very good defaults. However, since we want to use Yarn, we need to make some adjustments. Now, first let's create a Spark-envsh file by copying the template. So enter cp for copy, um, spark-env.template, and we copy that to spark-env.sh. All right, and open that file with nano. So open sparkenv.sh. Here we uh, want to add two options, basically. Hadoop confdir and jarn confdir. So let's go to the end and just insert export 
uh, dupe underscore conf underscore dear equals. And we now put in uh, where Spark can find the um, config files for Hadoop. And that would be the home directory of Hadoop, of the Hadoop user. Then it would be Hadoop hyphen 3.3.0. So basically our Hadoop folder. And then it needs to go into the etc folder and then inside the Hadoop folder. Next, we gotta tell it where to find the yarn config files. And actually, those are in the same place. So again, just enter hi slash home slash Hadoop and Hadoop 3.3.0 etc and then Hadoop. Um, additionally, we can tell Spark that we would like to use Python 3 when using PySpark. Um, normally, on Debian at least, it would use Python 2, but we don't want that, so we say export PySpark underscore Python, and we say it's Python 3. All right, now leave that file, so save it and leave that file. Great, next we must tell Spark where to create slaves. Now copy the slaves.template file to slaves and open that with nano. All right, uh, here we must add the IPs of all machines we want to create slaves on. And for this to work, we must set up passwordless SSH. Um, notice that we are just using a single node, hence we can leave localhost in here. So we don't need to make changes. I just wanted to show you that there is local host down there and this is, uh, and that is basically all the machines we want to run slaves on. I'll exit that file. And that was basically all there was to configure for Spark. Um, next, we must create Spark applications that will actually connect to Yarn. Also, this is where we will use our queues. So see you in the next video.